everyone and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Rosanna and today I will be showing you how to make crepes. This is such a delicious yet so easy recipe. We will be filling these thin French pancakes with a cream cheese filling. Not just any filling, but their strawberry cream cheese filling. Okay, so let's get right to it. We're gonna start with our crepe mix and for that we're gonna be using a blender. It cannot get any easier. You don't need anything else. It's a blender. So we're going to go ahead and add our milk. Basically all of our ingredients. Oops, we don't want to break that. Okay, and now we're going to add our flour. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add my butter, melted, my eggs, my sugar and salt. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and scrape this. My flour got stuck a little bit. So, just with a spatula, make sure it's off. So now let's go ahead and put it in a container because this is going to have to go into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. Oh, look how beautiful that looks. So smooth. And like I said, this is going to go into the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Okay, so while our batter is in the refrigerator, we're going to go ahead and start on our strawberry cream cheese filling. And for that, about 30 minutes ago, I went ahead and added my granulated sugar with my strawberries so they can macerate and all the juices can start releasing and our strawberries can get softer. Now we're going to go ahead and add our cream cheese into our bowl and our powdered sugar. This is going to be so easy and quick. So we're just going to go ahead and mix our cream cheese until it's smooth, no lumps are in there. Then you can go ahead and add your vanilla. And then we're going to go ahead and add the macerated berries we had prepared earlier. These look so beautiful and so good, I can't wait. And now with the same petal attachment, we are going to mix it up again because we want to Go ahead and break up all those beautiful strawberries. When your mix looks like this, we're going to go ahead and add heavy whipping cream. And we're going to go ahead and whip it up with our whip attachment. It's going to get a little bit thicker because of the whipped cream. Once it looks like this, you can go ahead and set aside, put it in the fridge until we're ready to use it. Now let's get started on our crepes. Let's start by adding some butter to the bottom of our pan and letting it melt. Then we're going to add some of our crepe batter and to create a nice circle we're just going to move our pan around until you get the perfect shape you want. And we're going to be cooking this at medium heat so we don't burn it but we still have that nice heat that's going to help us create the perfect circle. Also, I went for a bit larger crepe. The amount that I added to my pan was about a quarter cup of my batter. As you can see, my crepe is looking beautiful and it's so loose from my pan that I can easily just move it around. Once your crepe looks ready, let's flip it around. Yay, look at that beautiful color. That's exactly what you want. Golden brown. After you've flipped it, you don't really need to leave it too long on the other side because it should brown really quickly. Once you see that it's ready to go, just go ahead and remove it and let's move on to the rest of our crepes.
that we have our crepes done, we're gonna go ahead and assemble it and we're gonna plate it really nicely. So for that, I've actually cut up strawberries into quarters and then a couple of them in half just for decoration and just to get that little green part of the strawberry in there and give it more color. I also have sliced almonds, chocolate chips, and a couple of cranberries, why not? And then also I left this in the cooler for about half an hour just to cool and I have some whipped cream that I previously whipped. So now let's go ahead and plate this bad boy. Okay, let's get right to it. Take one of your crepes and we're gonna go ahead and spread our strawberry cream cheese filling that we made earlier. This looks so good, so yummy, so delicious, and so colorful. You can also get creative and add fruit, chocolate chips, whatever you desire. But for me, I'll keep it simple and I will just do my filling. We're just going to go ahead and grab one of the edges and start rolling from one side to the other just like this and just be gentle with it enjoy the ride and let's do the same thing with our second crepe so now let's add some whipping cream that's right let's bring the sexy music on doesn't this look just gorgeous Okay, okay, let's move on. This is not the only ingredient we're adding to this. Let's go ahead and add some cut up strawberries. Look at how beautiful this is. And you can make this at your house. You don't even have to go to a restaurant. Show off to your family. Show them your culinary skills. <laughs> this is so easy, go for it. This is looking so glamorous. Let's top it off with some sliced almonds, chocolate chips, a couple of cranberries, and if inspiration hits, let's add some caramel sauce. So I got greedy and I went ahead and added powdered sugar to the top of my crepes to top it off. And here is the end result. I'm telling you, this looks gorgeous. All right, this looks so beautiful. It looks like a fancy breakfast. And I'm sure you're gonna be so happy with the outcome. Now let's go ahead and give this a taste. All right. Oh, it's kind of big, excuse me. Mmm. This so delicious. It's so simple, so easy to make, and it's not expensive. Now that we've done this, we've reached the end of the video. Make sure you subscribe, you click the notification bell, and you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Now, I'm gonna keep digging into my herbs.